green is the new gold. Our 18-hole Niklaus design, award-winning golf course and clubhouse will leave you green with envy. We don't just say, we do. It's the Stain City Way. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Real Talk with me, Anele. So we made it, guys. We thought we wouldn't, but we made it to Friday. In a week of junk status, news, marches, protests, are your feet sore? Hmm? Are you tired from marching today? Or were you one of those sneaky people who took the day off that the boss gave them and then you went and had coffee with your friends? Because I know a few. I was there having coffee with them. Uh, remember, you can tweet us at Real Talk on 3 anytime. Obviously, we love hearing from you. Take this time to put your feet up because we're about to have ourselves some fun. So it's been said that no man is an island. Just like we need the air to breathe, relationships are an integral part to our survival as a human race. But technology means we're now way past the days when courting was as simple as getting permission from the girl's family. Profile pictures have become introductions, sliding to the DMs has become a shameless norm and people in the same city can literally have an entire relationship or version thereof as long as they plugged into their devices. My first guest decided to give cyber dating a try and it certainly doesn't happen for everyone but she got a fairy tale ending. Former fly chick turned businesswoman and choreographer to the stars who rocks in heels. Welcome to Nkateko Techies Masangwanye. Thank you so much. Am I saying your surname right? Masangwanye. But it doesn't matter. It's you fine. You You're changing it. it, right? Yes. You're changing it. Changing. <laughs> Is that the rock on your finger? Yes. Girl, you would have sunk straight to the bottom if you were on the Titanic. <laughs> right? That is huge. I know, and it's my favorite stone, Tanzanite. And obviously, you were hinting this during the courtship. Oh, yes. I was like, yeah, you I know, Tanzanite. Tanzanite. Like, and I don't want to see my finger. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice way to let a man right? know that you want a big yeah, rock. Yeah, in a nice way. I don't want to, unless, unless you have big yeah, fingers like mine, then you've got finger. really big problems. So listen, <laughs> Yes. you decided I'm going on to Tinder and that's the next step. I mean, obviously you were dating before, right? Mm -hmm. What was not working out with the normal dating scene? So I was dating before, then I got out of a relationship. Uh -huh. And then I was that girl who was always at home watching series. So one of my friends, one of my close friends, she was like tired of me being home. She's like, no, you need to try this new app. It's called Tinder. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Tinder? She's like, yeah, it's online dating. I was like, hell no, no ways. Because I'm not into, I don't believe in online dating. So now, you know how friends are just like, friend, no, I dare you. If you do this, I'll buy you a handbag. Was, was this friend of yours who wants to set you up, was she in a relationship? No, she was also on Tinder. Oh, so she was loving Tinder. Yes, and okay. also the friend she hooked up was engaged. So she's like, friend, it works. Look at my friend Tato, she's engaged. But now she's married. Okay. Which is awesome. So she's a Tinderella. They call them Tinderellas. Tinderellas. Yeah. Oh, look at you guys. <laughs> right. Okay, so you decide I'm going to go into Tinder. You get yourself a profile. Yeah, so fine. I put it together, put my profile together. But I was very smart about mine. I didn't go the whole route of putting like a picture with a bikini on and stuff. I actually had a picture with a friend and we're doing a little cheers. So you didn't know which one I was. Oh, so it was so a good you conversation. Were, you were luring them into, okay, yes. hey, which one are you? Was the other friend hot as well? Because I mean, yeah. you're not. We look the same and she's also dark skinned. She's okay. got a good smile like me. Okay. Good smile. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's how I set it up. And then, yeah, it was a conversation starter. Also, you don't want a guy to want you for your body or mm, how you look mm, or mm. who you are, what you do. So that's why I did that instead of going for the whole sexy look. Because you say that when your friend first suggested it, you were like, no, I'm not doing online dating. What were your hesitations about online dating before you became a Tinderella? You know, I've heard so many crazy stories about people disappearing, about people being on bad dates, people being treated badly. Uh. Um, I've heard all sorts of stories, so it just scared me. But it, I felt a bit safe when she told me about her friend and her friend was engaged. I was like, okay, why don't, why don't I give it a try? Mm. I mean, I was single and I wasn't doing anything with my life in terms of like socially. So Chris. Yes, his name is Chris. Look at that smile. I know. His name is Chris. Yes. So Chris then, what, what is it on Tinder? You swipe right. Oh, you right. swipe right when you say yes. When you say yes, it's yeah, yes. Yeah, I just know and then, you like I. Okay. Yes. So Chris swipes right, yes. ne? And then you guys start chatting. Yes. When do you see each other fa face to face? 
So we, we feel you can, it's up to you. But what we did was we spoke for a while online. What's a while? Because this is 2017. Like three months. Okay. That's Ooh, a while. That's right? a while. Yeah. Okay. Then we moved, we moved into WhatsApp where it's comfortable. Yeah. And then after WhatsApp, he started like asking me, on, like asking me out. I was like, no, man, no, no. I was playing hard to get. I mean, you have to, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Unless so you're hard to watch, then <laughs> it's not smart to play. Yeah, hard to exactly. Get. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, so eventually I was like, okay, cool, let's go on the state. But the thing is about him, he was like, I want you like natural because I was busy saying, No, I need to go do my hair tomorrow anyway, blah. He's like, No, come like that, like don't do your hair. Uh. Um he's like dressed down, I also dressed down. I was literally in track pants and a, like a vest top and sneakers. Okay. And he was in the same and we went to the lion park. Nice place on our for first a first date, date okay. right? There's people. Yeah, if there's he's naughty, lions. You can chuck him in there, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. And then, okay, so how many dates did you guys go on before you decided that you are becoming exclusive? Official. It was six dates. Six dates. So it's like, and I know so you remember. it was Lion Park. Mm. Oh, okay, if I remember, it was Lion Park. He took me to the gun range. I know, right? We went to the Apartheid Museum, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> right? He's like, yeah. Um, yeah, but what was that? So, other gun range, are you guys like shooting? Doo -doo 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 -pew -pew? <laughs> yeah, literally. Okay. You're teaching you me how to shoot. Okay, because he wants you to protect yourself. You know what I mean? Like this Smart man. Smart man, hey. Okay, so um, then, uh, Apartheid Museum. Yes, which was very interesting. Wants to show you that he's down enter, with the black people. Yeah. He understands. Okay, <laughs> next one. <laughs> what was the name? What was the other one? Look, I forgot. Oh my gosh. Doesn't matter. Does he yeah. ask you, will you be my girlfriend? Yeah, he's like, will you be my girlfriend? Because mm -hmm. I'm also like traditional like that. Mm, yeah. I don't want, because there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of relationships where women think they're in a relationship, but the man's like, but I didn't ask you out. And he just needs, Bless okay, you. it's gone. Bless yeah. you, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I just needed him to ask me that question, then we can like be official. I didn't even give him the cookie until then. I don't know why Bless I need you. <laughs> Bless you. Flowers. Yes. Okay. So, uh, you, didn't, uh, you shared a little bit there. I didn't give him the cookie until he asked. Yeah. How long did you date officially until he asked you to be his wife? Uh, a year. A year. A year. And, I mean, you know there's like safety around. No, just over a year. Just over a year. Just over a year. What, what, what were his hesitations? Because when I hear about Tinder, yeah. and I hear about Tinder from both sides, right? And it's an online dating app. Mm -hmm. Is that, you know, guys use it to be uh, shallow and creepy and they yeah. just take hot girls on dates to up what they look like to other people in clubs and restaurants. Mm -hmm. And girls use it to get a free meal. This is of the course. bad side that yeah. I've heard about it. So obviously both of you have got those hesitations. Yes. Do you talk about that in the beginning? Like, listen, yes, I hope you're not... Do. Okay. No, definitely. With him, he was just on there to have fun. You mm. know how men are. Also, he was married before, so he was getting over that. So mm -hmm. he was just just like I'm putting myself out there let's go let's have fun whether it's serious whether it's not mm -hmm. and then he bumped into me then I had to like remove people I was like this this bye 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 okay. bye I had to clean the slate a bit uh-huh yeah until he was serious and do you because there's a there's a bit of a stigma to mm -hmm. online dating which is strange because people who meet on Facebook or on Twitter yeah. or on Instagram that's also still online dating it is, you know, it is. Yeah. you met online yes. uh, but there's a stigma to specifically going onto a website mm -hmm. and you know writing age height color eyes all those things so when you are now in a relationship yeah. are, you know are you guys open to just letting everyone know or did you guys get to a place of comfort like hence you here now yeah and I, I, I personally needed to be comfortable because i'm very private yes. with my relationships yeah um and actually he's the first guy i brought home he's the first guy i've posted like he's like a first of everything yeah like proper so i just needed time to make sure because things happen in relationships mm. before you like put it out there hey we together this that next thing next thing six girls are like yeah uh, uh he's mine he uh, woke up here this morning right <laughs> <laughs> exactly you're like what <laughs> yeah this guy, where do you get all the time oh my gosh yeah no so i had to like take it slow before uh. i introduced him to my world and what are the hitches between you two because you know you guys are in an interracial relationship mm -hmm. um are there any hurdles there no, not at all, hey. Except for him. Like when people like let's say walk around in the mall and people look at him, he gets a bit uncomfortable. Mm. I'm always like, darling, just take it as you look hot and they're admiring you and let's just keep walking. And keep it moving. Yeah. So your friend that hooked you up that yes. said go on Tinder. Yes. Uh, is she gonna be the bridesmaid or the maid of honor? No, she's gonna say a speech, a okay. special speech. Yeah. And then finally, are both of you now off Tinder? Because you get these people, then they're in a relationship, and then you're and like, and then they're still sliding. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, no, now I just do it for recreational purposes. You imagine? No, we're both off. 
So when did you, was that a conversation that you had, like, you better be off Tinder? Yes, when, when you asked me out, it oh. was like, are you still on Tinder though? Uh -huh. He was like, no, I left ages ago, I'm and, like, good. And you? I left, <laughs> like, I was on for two weeks and I left after I met him. That was like a bang job. You got right? in, you got yours, like, and boom, you got bang, out. Done. <laughs> Is cyber dating something you've tried before? Does the idea terrify you? Uh, let us know at Real Talk on 3. I have two more guests in the studio to take the conversation a little bit further. More after the break. <laughs> So we've just heard the fairy tale romance of Tackies and Chris and how Tinder was the first step in the imminent walk down the aisle. Now to delve further into the topic for today, we're joined by the outspoken, hilarious, tall guy who can even out-talk me, okay? And that's a feat. Let's welcome Mr. Tola Mo to add some flavor, 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 flavor. Come on with it. Flavor, Come flavor, 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 flavor. <laughs> that is great. I'm a sugar and bang. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Listen, you... How long did you and Mama date before you were like, I'm out? Ooh, it was courtship for how long? I think it was a good eight months. Eight months courtship. And then we dated for like two years. And then and got then, married. Yeah, yeah. So you were, you were in there quickly and you were like, you like her. It wasn't that quick. Two years. Uh, wait, but think about it. In, in, in under three years, you got married. Yes. Yeah, no, come on. Usually people it was quick, take man. like four, five, four, five years. years. Yeah. So I, I was making You know, got, got four years, the girl starts tapping. <coughs> and then like, she just makes references to things like, oh, look at that, a marriage. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. I'm also Thank sneezing. So I don't know what's going on. Something in the air. What's your take, though, on online dating? You know what? Online dating for me is like, it's a bit weird. It's dangerous. <laughs> yeah? It's so scary because most of the time, you know, people hide behind beautiful avatars. Yeah. You know, and then they make themselves look like they're these people, like, you know, that, you know, got perfect bodies and, you know, they always do filters and the poses, all of the certain Beautify direction. apps. You know what you I'm know, saying? Tap the apps in, now. Yeah. Lift the cheeks. You know? Enlarge the eyes. You know, you can nose. enlarge your booty now. You Just can enlarge imagine. your booty. I'm telling you. And then when you see them in real life, it's a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> She can't even hug you because her arms are so short. <laughs> <laughs> so then, if your friends say to you, mm -hmm. look, I'm on Tinder, how are you advising them to go about it? Like, okay, Choma? Sure, if my friend says that he's going on Tinder, dude, I'll be like, yo, man, why can't you just go about this the normal human natural way, bruh? Uh, <laughs> like, you know, for me, like, virtual, virtual dating sometimes can be a little bit tricky because um, you don't know where your, 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 your stuff might end up. Maybe you're getting lured into a trap uh, or, or, or maybe this person wants to use you for your, for your, your, your personal stuff, like wants yeah. to get money from you. Yeah. I mean, I got, I got hacked on social media, dude. Like, I got my whole Twitter handle gone How? because I, I got lured in by like a fake twitter account that, that was, said they're gonna verify you yes dude oh, and no. i clicked on it and i i saw that everything I was like... oh no at first i was like no i'm not doing this you know what i'm saying but i don't know he just lured me and lured me and i got irritated to the point where i just ended up doing it uh. and i lost my entire account so oh, no. i'm very scared of like inter internet interaction mm. i mean we've got scammed on the internet before as yeah. well i mean through property where we paid rental and deposit for a place that didn't exist you know what i'm saying oh so gosh. like on, on so how much more when it comes to relationships you know, you know that's I'm your saying. guys you know what i'm saying like oh, when you order yeezys on, on on the net and when they get there it's like yeezy slippers <laughs> like this freaking massive thing yeah. so the yeah. internet is so difficult to really like you know have trust yeah. you were very fortunate and blessed for that yeah you know? I but i mean in terms of li living you know living your your relationship on on social media because mm -hmm. I always get this you know with people you know you guys are dating and then you're posting hashtag love lives here yeah. yes. hashtag squad goals hashtag yeah. couple goals, goals hashtag my one forever hashtag forever to love <laughs> and then like the next day you're Gone. not posting any longer and then <laughs> people ask you like can we please have our privacy yeah like what's your take on that because surely you weren't private when you were flaunting exactly. it and now you want privacy you know, that, I think that's a huge gamble because you never know what will happen. Like, I'm crossing my fingers, nothing happens with me and Chris. Like, even with the ring, anything yeah. can happen. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You just have to gamble, throw the dice, and wish for the best. Well, Chris came to say hi during the end. Right? Hey, like, what a so romantic Caucasian. <laughs> 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 a gentle Caucasian <laughs> brother. Speaking of this, and now yes. you both of you are in like proper relationships. Yes. I'll go with you, yes. uh, Tol, first. 
Do you have an issue with your wife, uh, Umome, liking pictures of hot guys on Instagram and commenting and following? Do you know what? I really don't have a problem with it at all. Because you know what? I think that uh, insecurities in relationships are, are, are the thing that will drive you crazy. Ah. That's the first thing that's going to um, uh, make you feel distant from your partner. Mm -hmm. You have to be cool with yourself. I mean, social media is for everybody. Mm. I can't control who she likes, who she talks to. I don't know who she's DMing. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't, it's not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, um, I give her her, her, her social media space. space. So uh -huh. she can post pictures of herself. You can see, like, now she's, like, you know, working out, losing the yeah, weight. Yeah, she's losing that oh, weight, she's though. Losing. Man, Yo, she's proper. looking sexy. So, oh, wait, right are you watching the people who are liking her? You're like, this Yo, guy has the tent sure like, yeah, this I'm like, the tent <laughs> like, though. Hey, go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, I long I too like her cool, you know? no, I like her too much though. No. You know, sometimes guys like you know will will, will write uh, comments like because you know if my wife is posted up maybe in a bikini or whatever, guys are like oh that's so sexy, Jules, you know. I wanna you all know. that song, you know that's all that kind woman. of stuff. That's my woman, but I I I, I never. Uh, waste my time in terms of fighting with guys mm. on social media for that stuff, yeah. man. You know, I'm with her every day. She comes home I mean, to they're me, the man. picture. You have the entire thing. You know they're what I'm pretty saying? Pretty I got the real real, you know? <laughs> so I never stress out, really. I don't feel insecure about her, um, her interactions on social media. Neither does she feel the same. I follow a lot of beautiful women on Instagram, yeah. I'll tell the honest truth, and I like their pictures, whatever, even local celebrities. Yeah. I follow you guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean... I mean, we're free to do what we want to do. <laughs> yeah. So with you, you and your, you and your boo thing, your bae, um, are you guys monitoring? Is he, I don't know, he doesn't look like he's on social media, though. No, he? he is on social really? media, he yeah. He looks like a sit Facebook. No, but he's usually on to see how my social media is doing oh. in terms of... Okay. No, but like, how you posting, mm, baby, shouldn't have posted this picture, yeah, or, you know? sexy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he's Does like, he, complain about he wants the sexy, sexy, sexy to be pics. out. He's so like, put it out there. Take Own it all. Booty yeah. off, everything. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he went a man. Eh? But when girls are liking his page a lot, like the same girls, I'm like, darling, who's that? Investigation. Like, there's a trend. Like... This girl, who is she? Uh -huh. Is she from your past life? What's happening? <laughs> Do you, when, when you guys started dating, and obviously yeah. you're both on social media, then like you said, did you go like deep into his timeline to see if he still got any exes posted? Where you were like, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to clean up yes. on aisle three. Yes, I <laughs> went into his and so I'm like, this is such an old, who's this? No, <coughs> even friends that aren't even his friends anymore. I'm like, off, bye. Let's discuss that. Uh, should people delete exes' pictures? Because I mean, there's Yo. so many though. Imagine like a guy dated I, five years ago and we're in Thailand. Now must I go back there to delete those pictures? You know what? It, it really depends on what kind of um, arrangement or agreement you have with your partner, you mm. know? As I said to you, the one thing that kills all relationships is insecurity. Yeah. Mm. Because if you now start stressing about your partner has um, pictures of, of her ex on, 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 on her Instagram, maybe like three years ago or whatever, and you worried about that, that simply means you must probably doing the same thing. Maybe you checking ah. out your ex in the background, whatever, and you developing feelings. Now you worried about the fact okay. that maybe that might happen to her as well. You know, men are very selfish people, so it's like it's quite a crazy situation. Mm -hmm. And in terms of keeping on following an ex, like, you know, is Crystal friends with... How long? I made him clean everything. Get out of here. Yeah. Gone. White slate. Clean. clean. <laughs> you just yes, like... Yes, I am the forever, so we don't need, like, old stuff. And obviously you did around. the same. You follow none of your exes. None, none, none. You have none, none of their numbers on your phone. None. Everyone's When they gone. phone, you're like, new phone, who this? We yeah. even laugh about it. I'll be like, darling, who's calling? Who's this? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Let's answer in here. You know, like, it's a joke now in the house. All right, social and you don't follow any of your exes on social media? No, I don't. I actually only have, like, seriously, like, one ex. Like, you know, that's, like... That means something okay, in my life, okay, you know, the, 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 the yeah. mother of my child, yeah. you know. But other than that, it's like... And you, you kind of have to keep in contact with her. Yeah, that's understandable. In a, in a way, like, you know, uh, um, like, I don't follow her on social media, but then, you know, if a picture of my daughter pops up or whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll screen grab it mm. or whatever, or, you know, mm. those are the kind of vibes. It's not really... And I, 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 when I do it, I'll let mommy know that, yo, look, I just got this okay. new picture that's of... Good. Nice. You know? Communication at yeah. all times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. so she knows that, you know, this is the vibe, you know. You, congratulations, and enjoy your wedding and <laughs> the nuptials you. and your I marriage will. and the Thank rest you of your so lives much. together. Yes. You do look happy together. We're very happy for you. Thank you for Thank joining you us. So much. You are going, you are staying, you are going nowhere. <laughs> Don't forget that in a short while, I'll be announcing our very first winner for our at home competition. Your chance to score yourself a 5,000 Rand e gift card is on the other side of the break.
and welcome back. So for a lot of us, social media affords us a first-hand look into the lives of our favorite celebrities. Tolas Mo, together with his wife Mome, have allowed us front row seats to their relationship and even took it as far as a reality show. One thing we cannot deny though, that there are real dangers to cyber dating and many people get scammed, like Tolas Mo spoke about the rent issue earlier on. Joining us next is our third guest, Rianette Liebowitz, who is all clued up on what to look out for when it comes to living safely online. So you are an online safety activist. Yes, mm. yes. So I do my work for Safety Net Cyber Safety. You're like the you FBI of oh, the I online world. Yes. Come on with it. We need people to be responsible digital yes. citizens. Yeah. Which so entails what exactly? Like what's in, the first code the of online living? It's about this thing, our fingerprint, mm -hmm. and what we do with it. Your digital fingerprint. Because everything that we do is either going to break someone's heart or make their day. And mm. it's part of leaving our digital footprint. So we have to be responsible with what we do online. Whether mm. it's online dating, whether it's a, a teenager building a profile and still wanting to be employable one day. Yeah. So that's what it's about. Yeah. So when it comes to online dating, surely you have the do's and don'ts that yeah. people must abide by, right? Yes. So I'm going to ask for the official ones from the FBI. <laughs> and then I'm going to ask for the <laughs> I've been around the streets a few times you once. know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying from your side so what are, what are the do's and don'ts well they're quite obvious I think most of the time you know if you think about your safety it's quite obvious and first of all look at the site that you choose to do the online dating on mm. make sure it's legit don't go and pay a membership fee and then in two weeks time that site doesn't exist anymore because they were scamming people. Uh -huh. So look at the site. Is it le legit? Has it been around for a while? And also read the terms and conditions of that site uh -huh. or, or of that platform because you give your right away for all the information you share. Okay. You think that some of the photos are private, but they probably have access to that. Mm. And also, I mean, many times you sign in with your Facebook profile, so now they've got access to all yes. your Facebook information as yeah. well and friends. So, I do this. not that I'm signing into dating sites, but I do that so many times on other sites. Yeah, yes. it's just so much Facebook. easier. Yeah. Yes, you have to go into your Facebook account and look at your settings and check your permissions that you've given apps. Definitely do that. So look at the site that you're going to use or the platform that you're going to use. Then also consider when you sign up, what you share about yourself. Mm -hmm. Be true, be honest. Um, it's it's yeah. not really cool to have a different persona. And uh. if you're there to find the true love, then obviously you want to be honest and truthful, truthful about uh. your, your details that you give. But also be cautious about giving your address and too much information about your children if you're mm, yeah. divorced or so forth because yeah. you don't want to put them in danger okay. and you know say where they go to school and so forth because mm -hmm. unfortunately mm. it's, you know digital is like a cyber highway mm. but as on any other highway we've there's got some drunk dangerous drivers, drivers yeah. and, and the there's, the there's the lies, you know, <laughs> and those and the kids without the licenses okay. mm -hmm. so we usually say the young ones are the ones without the licenses mm. so mo um yeah. this is the official one for you just as a personality when you look at people and the and, and, and the stuff they're sharing about themselves you know the you know the luring in the photos yeah, yeah. what what are your do's and don'ts to people on the internet who are looking for love for me do you know what the, the, the first don't is like don't post like n completely nude pictures of yourself I mean we you have to leave space for you know curiosity mm. you know yes you can be seductive on your pictures and stuff like that but don't post things that are gonna reflect badly on you you mm. know like recently we had this girl that you know posted a very crazy video on social oh, media and she was like girl. yeah she was like underage you know yeah. what I'm saying and she sent it to a friend uh, uh, to a boyfriend who then the boyfriend shared, shared with the friends and then the friends let it out on social media you know so those are the kind of things that you don't want to have as you said that um, your social media history does have impact on your future employment mm. you know so you don't want to uh, put up things that will hinder you I believe in my privacy I, I don't post pictures of my wife all the time I don't post pictures of my kids mm. or my home or my belongings you mm. know I always try and keep it as safe as possible I'd rather push work on my on my Instagram yeah. and my social yeah. media and then um, if people want a piece of me like you know they have to really know who I am you know yeah, yeah. okay so keep a little for yourself you gotta I was, keep some I was watching um, a TED talk on because I was like I heard we're doing this topic I'm like yay let me read up on it and I came across a TED talk and now they were talking about first date you know so you cyber dated and you guys have found each other and you yeah. swipe right and you like each other and the, they say the advice was the first date, do not make it longer than one hour. Mm. Now, 
can you explain that to me? Because I was like, but what happens if we're vibing? And like, I like him and he likes me and we're coding me, Joe Black to each other and stuff. And he likes Beyonce and I like Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Come on. And he likes Troy and I like Troy. Then what? That must be like, it's one hour. I'm going. You know? I don't know, Nelly. Maybe it is just to bring that little bit of the old time um, you know, magic back yeah. where a Coach guy ship. had to work a little bit harder to to bring the flowers and to get your sure. attention. Maybe it's that, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's um, that. But it would be interesting to see, to see statistics on that. But what I've noticed is that um, relationships and navigating relationships in the online and physical world mm. is so important. And we have to understand that the thin line between it needs to be nurtured mm. because you can't expect to have your relationships only alive on sending WhatsApp messages yeah. on birthdays and congratulations and sorry uh. someone passed away because they, you start missing that physical connection yeah. and it's something that I want to caution people about. It's so horrible man I mean yes. when you find out someone has passed away on social media before you the family member even knows it's, it's really shocking I get concerned sometimes God forbid if anything were to happen to me out there would my wife be informed first? Quietly, Quietly. by somebody she loves and you trusts. You know what I'm saying? You know. Or would she see a someone, will someone send her a screen grab and say, yo, Mo, just, this is what happened to mm. Mo. Or you should yeah. see people posting pictures with you. R.I.P. Mo, like, oh, R.I.P. Mo. <laughs> you were the funniest guy, man. Oh, man, when you were at Black's Only, man, Mo, guy. you killed it. What a guy. And then it's just like, so everyone went to go find their picture with Mo you so that know? they can do this. Exactly. You're a guy. Mm. What must I look out for if I'm into cyber dating and I've, you know, I've made a connection with someone because a lot of people when I was doing the research they're yeah. like you you notice trends about someone yeah. so they, they don't want to communicate at night you know they mm. can only talk to you during office hours yeah. so if somebody as a guy tell us how dodgy you guys are so we know what to look out for do you know what some guys can be dodgy in this light ne? Um, if if a guy is only talking to you uh, uh, on a sexual level only ah. all the time then you kind of understand what kind of that person is like maybe you no know, this guy only just wants to get it and wants to be out yeah but at the same time there's those guys that will take the time out to get to know you you know eight if, months yeah th th you see the guys that take the time out to get to know you, those are the guys you must pay attention to and then you also have to watch what kind of pictures they like of you on your social media mm. you understand what i'm saying there's there's you, Slow clap. you know what i'm saying because Slow clap. there's some people that wouldn't like a picture of you and your mom, but they'd like a picture of you, like, you know. <laughs> but you're like, dude, my previous post is like a nice one of my mom. Why didn't you like that one? You only like this one. So you got to follow his common trends. And on Instagram as well, they show you what mm. likes does this person like. You can check him out and see, oh, this is the people he follows. This is what he generally likes. Maybe he could be this kind of a guy. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that you really have to watch out for. Oh, yes. And if someone uh, likes flashing on Instagram, like if the guy is always like posting with money, uh, champagne, he's a no-go. No do you know what for no me? Do you know what for me on, yeah. on, on, on social media is an immediate no-go mm -hmm. is the people who take a picture of their outfit before it's on their body and oh, on no, the bed, on the bed, and the shirt, <laughs> and the pants, and the watch, and the shoes. I'm like OCD crazy. I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> I, I'm going back. And welcome back to Real Talk with me, Anele. For those of you who are a little hesitant or even resistant to the idea of cyber dating, it does come with its benefits. It's most certainly not all doom and gloom, right? You've seen some, sure. I mean, we saw a successful case just earlier before with techies, but you were saying something about, you know, the older people who are on it and they're just specific, they don't, they're just, they're looking for love yes. and they can, then they get scammed. Yeah. Mm. Um, go more into that because I feel like they, we should know. Well, uh, first of all, I mean, uh, there's many sites who will claim that they've seen over 120,000 happy marriages happen mm. from their platforms. And that's probably true. But what I would like to caution people about is be sure that you are clever in when you communicate with someone that it's the real person. Mm. Mm. And before they actually promise you the world and before they ask you, I want to come and visit, but I just need 5,000 Rand. Yeah. And you at that stage, it's gone f on four months and they've actually groomed you, they've built trust, yeah. they know exactly what to yeah. say because it's very, you know, it's very easy to, um, what we call social engineering, to go yeah. and find out what you like, who you, 
you know, what you are precious about and so forth. So I build the trust relationship. I groom you to such an extent where I've got your trust. We are talking about love and we are, I'm coming to visit, mm. but I'm at the airport and my wallet got stolen, but please quickly pay this money into the account. So then it can fly I can down or whatever. And then people do that. And unfortunately, that is many, many, many syndicates work like that, where they will work for a long period to get you into their trust mm -hmm. and then they steal your money and for people who are really in it for the love they first of all heartbroken yes. secondly then yes. they lose their money and they're, mm. they're you know there's so much risk so we have to be vigilant and careful and with that look there are more right profiles and correct people and people who do it above board than the the bad ones so but isn't it a very good place to go and find a victim yeah, yeah. because you're vulnerable already and also because if you're looking for love right you you are literally wearing your heart on your sleeve exactly. yeah that's true. the fact that you're admitting yeah. that i'm going to go on a dating site it doesn't mean like you've given up on life and this is the last one but you yeah. you are vulnerable you have opened yourself up and that can ha happen yes. with ease so it's, it's basically called fishing you know they do intimate fishing mm. Um, there's guys that will send out random emails to everybody. There's a way that you can get a database to get hold of people's email addresses, uh. Uh, especially Yahoo, Hotmail, and uh, Gmail. Um, and then what happens is that it normally goes into your spam mail where you receive an email saying, I need your help to help me get my inheritance of over 500 million rand, but I need to use your details and whatnot. And then when they get into that, you, you, you forfeit because people are desperate for money. Okay. You know, so and, and they're willing to do anything to get a quick buck, but you find yourself falling into a trap where you're giving that person money now, uh, mm. even though they promised to give you money. Mm. It's, it's weird, yeah, because mm. they're like, Give me 5,000 and I can guarantee you 5 million because yeah. I just need to pay this lawyer I need to, do to that. get this wall read that's and then we end there. Exactly, and that's your five grand gone. And just imagine how many people has he done that to? You're not the only one. So, in terms of that safety, would you then just say and make a stand and say, do not be sending money to no one who you met over the internet that yeah. you have not met physically. physically. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. I mean, if if your relationship progresses and you've actually gone the extra mile by doing Skype calls or mm. a Google Hangout where mm. you can see the profile picture matches the person, mm. where you've actually looked at clues. Um, when people post f photos, look at the backgrounds, look mm. at the landscape, look at the clocks, the calendars on the walls to see. You need to investigate that is so this person. Deep. Right? And, do people um, look into backgrounds? You have to. What? I know I do something. And just Get on, out on, of here. on the norm now. On you the look norm. at the bottom like, yeah, and look I'm at like, that yeah. underwear. This, this, you see the sleeper next to you. And then but I look and I'm like, what coffee are they drinking? <laughs> is it Frisco? Is it Rico? Uh, no, I'm, I'm that guy. I'm like, mm -hmm. But in terms of your family safety, if yeah. you do a Skype call, don't have all your family pictures in the back with your kids and their school uniforms and so forth, because then you're giving too many, t too many clues away. away. Yeah. And um, yeah, so make sure that you are speaking to the right person. I've spoken about the actual platform before. Yeah. And yeah. then when you do have to pay things online, rather put your credit card details in every time. I know it's quite It's a easy step, to say, remember this card all the time. But we've yeah. seen now how sites can get hacked, hacked and then your details will be part of the hacked accounts. Mm. And some people have been you know, badly, badly, badly yeah. damaged. They can hack Hillary Clinton. Who Yo, are we? Especially yeah. stock market stuff, guys. That is also another big thing where people are getting milked a lot is Forex. Mm. They promise you that if you invest a certain amount of money and then after like a month or two, you'll get money back. There's people that testify as well saying that, yo, you know, I got money after three days. Same mm. thing with weight loss programs. There's so many <laughs> things that are so Must be desperate. Yes. If you're tired of being a rolling ball, like, you dude, diet. I can make up my own little diet tea or diet like this pearl. Coke. Yeah, grab this, this pearl pearl. from Brazil. Exactly. <laughs> Has it been through pharmaceutical testing, all those kind of things? Now you're buying medication online on, on a social media site that hasn't gone through all the, the, the proper testing and you never know what you're taking in. All right, so if you just joined us, I just need to bring you up yeah. to speed. We're speaking cyber dating and just cyber safety as a whole. We've got Tola Mo here, who's got plenty of opinions, and then we've got Rianette as well. Now, I want to ask you, uh, in terms of, um, oh, where am I going with this? With Somebody said that cyber dating is for only pretty people. <laughs> What's your take on that? It was, it was actually on the TED talk. It was ah. like, there's a big misconception that cyber dating is for good looking people or wealthy guys. Unpack that. Well, you know what is fascinating about the online dating world? Yeah. It's a world in its own, is that there are groups and the groups are either for 
um, single parents or divorced or ah, um, widows. widows or yeah, yeah widows Christians or whatever. So yeah. you can actually be quite picky and selective about where you go to uh -huh. do your online dating. Okay. And again, I mean, it's in the eye of the beholder, right? Yeah. But then it means that if you're not, you're never going to get... No, no, you know but it. You know it. So, you know it. Are you a guy? Be unless, honest. Unless it, de it really depends on the person's intentions. You know, there's some exactly. girls that you can see online that are more vulnerable. You can see that, ah, this one, no one is swiping on this one. <laughs> or this one, nobody's DMing you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those kind of things. So we really have to watch who are we communicating with and know they uh, try and find out what their intentions are mm. yeah. and I have a message for those people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your value is not determined by what is being said online mm -hmm. and the moment we can all just realize that we don't need to be likeaholics and we don't need to share things just to be the next big thing mm. and to, to trend and so forth we will be more responsible mm. and we won't share videos that will create more havoc and negativity yeah. mm. instead of building our nation mm. and being positive about it. Mm. And it's something that when I sp speak at schools yeah. that I really want the young people to understand is that you don't need a th you know, thousands of friends or yeah, on on Instagram. Mm. Yeah. You don't need to yeah. tag the whole world. Because mm -hmm. what, what's a safe age for your child to get on social media? Never. What are you well, the Never. <laughs> That when they reach that age. <laughs> Daddy, am I never yet? No, no baby, you're not, you're not never, never yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, the legal age is 13 on yeah. most of the platforms. Oh. And you know what's interesting is that WhatsApp, until recently, was 16. Yeah. And it's because of the, the different apps, um, the permissions you give, yeah. and also how, how vulnerable you are. Yeah. If you think about WhatsApp, it doesn't take a lot to get to you. Would you advise um, uh, parents to have the password, because I know a few friends of mine who've got kids who are that age who are on social media, she's got his account open on her, on her, on her phone as yeah, well. Yeah. So she's aware of everything he's posting, who he's talking to. Yes. It's like, mom, my privacy. You're like, well, you can have it when you get your own job. Yeah, yeah. yeah you need to, and it's tough. It's tough because you want to be, have a good relationship, which is all, always the first key is yeah. have a good relationship. But the second thing is to explain it to them in a way that you make sure there's burglar bars, they wear their seat belts, yeah. the, the poison is up in the cupboard. You protect them. You just need to be burglar bars when it comes to safety online. Yeah. You're not there to like and to share and to comment. Yeah. No, as a parent, we, we're not there to say anything, but we have to be able to protect them mm -hmm. and to see when there's someone liking them, mm. communicating with mm. them that we haven't seen face to face in yeah. real life. It's almost like your son being uh, like, for example, 13, and then there's girls that are like in their 20s liking his pics, you know what I'm saying? So you kind of like get worried, like, wait a second. So yeah, you know, uh, especially with our kids that are like, you know, exposed to uh, like the media and stuff like that. Yes. Kumo Panda's got a social media page, which is controlled by her mother. Um, she's the one who decides what's go what goes up on the page and what doesn't. I was worried because I know that there's people like pedophiles, yeah. you know, that, 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 that you know, uh, get off on, on, on like pictures of kids and stuff like that. So sometimes you get a bit worried and you're like, must I post a picture of my daughter? Is she safe if I do this, you know? Um, but what I always say to myself is that as long as the, my wife knows what she's doing, and has posted in such a way that they that we are safe. The, the burglar bars are up. You know what I'm saying? The burglar yeah. bars are up. Then it's fine. But for my son to have control on social media without my uh, uh, monitoring or whatever, it's a no-no. And you sure. get nice apps. You get nice apps for that. Too, okay, yeah. we're gonna carry on. I'm learning so much. We're gonna talk cyber dating now. We like into the entire internet. We'll be right back. That is. As cyber dating grows into more of a recognized form of interacting amongst people, it's worth noting how it impacts our lives. How has cyber dating changed the way we communicate with each other? So we're having a discussion yeah. with a few friends of mine, and we, uh, we were just talking, and then we came to the conclusion that dating in 2017, especially cyber dating, is a lot like calling Uber, right? Yeah. So you call an Uber, and okay, you don't like the guy, or you don't like the car they came in, you just, you know, you drop it and then you just call another one. Mm -hmm. and, 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 okay, so you call, or you call one and you ride in that one and, you know, have your fun in that one, takes you to a certain place, takes you to a certain journey, get there, five stars, cheers, 
get the next one. Yeah, I is, is would you say that's where dating is going? Is and 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 people are dating for shorter because of such. Yo, you know what? Um, I I I I think that that is so true. People are dating for much shorter periods, mm. and now life is not is not about really building a relationship, but it's about how much fun can I have with this person. Mm. You know, people look at your social media and, and want to find the fun element in you. That's why a lot of people will always post pictures of, of themselves um, at parties, at the club. Mm. They're always posting what they're drinking. It's all little things that people use use to lure you know, uh, 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 victims or whatever. Like, you mm. know, there can be guys that are serial daters on Instagram, you know. Um, like, you know, there's these guys that are, like, very over the top that post Bentleys and money, holding money next to a Carvella shoe like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those are the guys that... Like, will, don't you have a bank account? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Where do you keep all this cash? So th that's the thing that you really have to be careful of. There's, uh, uh, you need to find genuineness. What happened mm. to, like, just meeting up on the street and uh. dating that kind of a person, you know? Th that's where we need to get back to. That's where real love needs to be found. It's uh, it's not through social media. It's not through what you're doing on the internet. But it's it's through who you see on the daily, maybe. You know, maybe the person you bump into in a mall by mistake. Uh, That's the true love. Love at first sight, you know? That's what we need to find. Not not social media love. So, Rianette, what do you say to someone who is hesitant, skeptical, saying no to online dating? Well, if you're really serious and you want to find someone, then and you don't have many other options, then it's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. But be careful. And there's so much material available online to yeah. make sure that, you know, tips and tricks on how to do it safely and how mm. to be responsible. And then when you start your journey, I think see it as if you're going to go, whether you want to meet someone at church or at a bar, mm. you're not going to stay at the bar the whole time mm. or at church. You're mm. going to actually meet are, are online sites, online dating sites, are they regulated in terms of what age they, they like, you know, it has to be all over 18 or all over 21? Are they regulated like that? Some of them will say, or they will all state, listen, we aim at 18 to 30s okay. or to 45 to and older. Okay. So it's quite nice to go and look at that to make sure that you actually go to the right place to find the right profile person. Mm. And remember, it's algorithms. All the information you give mm. about your age, your where you stay, etc., mm. your likes, and they will ask you to explain the relationship you're looking for. Yeah. So the algorithms in the background will match that with someone else. Mm. It's just data, though. We still need to see each other yeah. and make sure that it's real. Is there a, a, have you ever seen cases or heard about cases or read up on them about uh, people who are addicted to online dating? Oh gosh. Well, <laughs> Um, Mo just moment on the bill. Oh God. Safety Net would love to see some, and we invite anyone who wants to um, join us to make that happen. Yeah. Digital rehab centers in South Africa, yeah. because abroad there are many digital rehab well, centers. People are addicted to social yeah. media. Yeah. Not just to social media, to games, to digital. You know, whether okay. it's, you know what, yeah. we think it's just other people. But when you're the one and your alarm clock, clock goes off in the morning, and the first thing you do is you look at your phone and then eventually you're like, oh, good morning, honey. Yeah. Oh. Then you might be one of those. True. You want to say good morning ones. to your followers yeah, before you first. say good morning to good the morning, person world. next to you. Good morning, world. Hi, world. It's me. <laughs> honey, don't worry. I'm just saying hi to her first. I'm just you quickly know? reading all my, my uh, updates. My I, I always tell my wife that she's always on the social media. You know, sometimes when you can't even walk with someone, you have to literally hold their hand because they're like on a their guide phone dog. the whole time. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Like um, it, it can get to that level. Um, being on social media is extremely addictive. And at the same time, don't forget that if we have, if we give our kids access to social media, they've got mm. access to websites like Amazon, mm. where they can buy things without your consent. Mm. You understand what I'm mm. saying? Like right now in America, I don't know, there's a, there's a serious problem with uh, kids that have bought uh, uh, things off the internet worth uh, like $4.1 billion without wow. parental consent. And now parents are taking Amazon to court mm. because it, kids can tap and access anything. Your bank card is lying around anyway. They can simply put it in and Speaking boom. of access, you are saying something about this teenage online dating? Yes, so teenagers also want to do online dating, mm. right? So Why? Um, What's wrong with dating Johnny that you ran into at the tuck shop? Exactly, yes. or buying a flower or chocolate <laughs> or being romantic, right? <laughs> I, no, I also, I, I, it's, a, it's a phenomenon and something that we don't necessarily understand, but we okay. have to accept. And as parents no. of young people, we have to accept that this is their world mm. and that that's part of their 
development and them creating their own personalities. Mm. However, what I want to caution people, uh, especially the teens, is to say, when you do want to go and do online dating, it's, and it sounds bad, but let your parents search it first. Yeah. Because unfortunately, when you do type in that teen online dating sites and you want to see what's available, some of them are... Um, it sounds like a haven for a human trafficking. Yeah, it this is. This is exactly that. And this is a family show, so we can't talk about everything that yeah. these guys want to do there. Yeah. But um, it's not good for you to do online dating when you're a teen. It's not at all. I also like highly disagree with it because don't forget that's how some of our South African teens were also encouraged to join um, radical um, movements. You like know what I'm strange saying? Strange cults. Exactly. And all of that. You know, yeah. and I'll tell you one thing that those things are pretty much alive on the internet. And if we don't monitor our kids or if we allow our kids to have internet freedom beyond what they're supposed to have, you're gonna find yourself in trouble. Mm. You'll find your kid involved in, in sects and cults mm. and, mm. you know, or, uh, uh, or, or or even meeting up with these people without you knowing, mm. you know, out. after school. Like, you know, your kid walks back home and then just before they come back home, he's gonna see this person that they've spoken to online. And please also don't forget, the reason why I don't want my kids to have cell phone devices with access to internet, yes, I can block his social media, I can block whatever, but he can still get games. And in games, there are chat rooms. So within oh those Lord. chat rooms, you can still get lured. So you have to understand that even on Candy Crush, there's chat rooms on Candy Crush, guys. There's chat rooms on... Um, Facebook. On, fa yeah. on, 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 on the, not even Facebook, what's that game? Mobile Strike or whatever, yeah. Air Strike, whatever. And I saw my son was communicating to probably guys that are 10 times his age mm. or women that are... You know, you what the hell? How do you control it? You have to keep them away from these gadgets. You know, Mo, as funny as you are, it yeah. is lovely to see you serious because <laughs> you are really teaching us a lot of things that we were not aware of here. I'm so, passionate about it. Thank yeah. you. I got you. Rianette, where can we find you if we want to further engage with you on those cyber safety vibes? We would love to engage with people and we're here to assist because safety net, cyber safety is there to spread awareness, okay. but also to assist victims because we don't want anyone to be alone in their, yeah. if they're a victim and they fall from cyberspace. Mm. So it's spelled a little bit differently because we aim to save lives. It's S-A-V-E-T, net, save T net. Okay. And it's really, for us, it's important to be able to say, Let's let us help you with our network of forensic analysts, psychologists, forensic the really and the relevant people at the police. Okay, I must interrupt you. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Wow, this has been real. Thank you so much to Techies who came in earlier, Tola Smo and Ria Nets. Ultimately, no one can tell you how to lead your life, but you know what? Do it anyway. Now, if you're going to a cyber date, you need to make sure that your house is worthy of bringing somebody home to. So this is why you need us. We've made Queen, Fit, Queen Fifi ready. She's now cyber date ready. Thanks to At Home, we're kitting her place out with 5,000 rands uh, with an e-gift card from At Home Goodies. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back on Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>